What's happening y'all? Rich Sosa coming back at you with another video today. And before we get started man, I just gotta say thank God King Jesus for another day and another opportunity. So comment down TG for thank God and where you're tuning in from. And I'll definitely be sure to get back to you with the response. So as you can see man from the looks of the thumbnail, title and screen. Today I'm putting together the 74th build that we've created together in NBA 2K25 and this build's going to be coming out to the 3 and D wing build. Now I've actually seen Bryce, James, LeBron's son in the park with this build. Went ahead and checked out the details and you know I found a way to make it a little bit better. But he was definitely leading in the right direction so as far as for this one today when it comes towards those attributes man we get a 99 plus on the perimeter defense steel and strength now on top of that we get two hall of fame badges seven gold 12 silver and 10 bronze and this build all around man you're gonna get the upgraded dunk packages standing dunks good jump shots pro dribble animations with some elite defense so from top to bottom man i'm telling you like this is going to be one of the best lockdowns that you can make this year in nba 2k 25 on next gen so i just want to say thank every single one of y'all the rich family for shoving your love and support every single day so if it was your first time coming bro be sure to hit that sub button if you know smash that like button Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. Now from here, man, let's get into the breakdown of today's build. So the first thing we're doing is putting this one under that small forward position. Now let's go ahead and put that height to 6'6". As we get into that weight, I'm going to go up to 223. And then as you can see with this wingspan, I'm going to put this up to 7'2". And this is going to be perfect to move forward. So with each and every build that I bring to y'all, man, I'm telling you the physicals are always going to be the most important area to start out with. That's going to show you which badges, animations, and also takeovers that you unlock along the way so as far as when it comes towards this speed today i'm gonna put this all the way up to a 90 and that's really gonna allow you to keep up with a lot of you know smaller guards and pretty much almost any build so with this agility let's go up to an 80 85 for that strength and this is gonna allow you to be able to guard big man centers power forwards and then for this vertical today i'm gonna go all the way up to a 70 so these numbers are perfect in order to pretty much max the rest of this build out and the first area that i'm diving into today is going to be that finishing so when it comes towards this close shot let's go all the way up to a 75 getting into the actual driving layup let's leave this as is moving into that driving dunk i'm gonna go up to a 75 as for that standing, move this all the way up to an 81. And as you can see with that post control, let's go with an 80. So already man, from the finishing side, I think we're pretty balanced and the build only gets better as we go about the build making. So let's go ahead and dive into the shooting. I'm gonna go ahead and put that mid range shot all the way up to a 73. As you get into that breakdown of that three pointer, I'm gonna go with an 83 with that free throw being brought up to an 82. So we get a good amount of those jump shot bases and releases unlocked on top of that for the finishing you know upgraded dunk packages standing dunks even when it comes towards the playmaking man this is going to be another special area so for that pass accuracy let's go with a 55 moving into that ball handle we're going to leave this at a 70 with a 75 speed with ball so you do get some of those pro dribble animations and i think all around man this is definitely got to be one of the best builds that you can make when it comes towards being a defender so as you can see with this interior leave this at a 60 getting into that perimeter i'm going to put this all the way up to a 93 as as you get into the breakdown of the steel let's go up to a 94 and as you can see with that block man i'm gonna put this up to a 74 here so with this offensive rebound let's go all the way up to an 80 and then for this defensive i'm gonna put this up to an 85 and this is what we're gonna be looking like once you get this build maxed out so if you were paying attention man as i went about the build making a lot of animations and also badges were unlocked as we max this build out so the first area that we're looking at when it comes towards these badges is going to be these hall of fame so as you can see, we get Interceptor. On top of that, bro, Off-Ball Pass. You have the potential to get two different Tier 1 and Tier 2 badges on the Legend Tier. And I think that's going to be very special and most important today. So, really, you know, we have to take into account the cap breakers and also takeovers. So, be sure to stay tuned. Now, when it comes towards these Gold Badges, we get Slippery Off-Ball. From there, we get Box Out Beast, Immovable Enforcer. You're also going to be able to get On-Ball Menace. From there, we get Challenger glove and also pick dodger so i gotta say this is a really nice build on that defensive end especially when it comes towards being one of the main defenders on your team i think this build can definitely fill that role now when it comes towards these silver badges we get strong handle also rebound chaser set shot specialist with lightning launch aerial wizard from there we get post powerhouse post up poet 
Pogo Stick, Post Plate Phenom, Rise Up, and then we're also going to be able to get Brick Wall and Hook Specialist. So, from this standpoint, man, I'm telling you the badges are really loaded. I don't think there's any area in which we're weak in. Now, for these bronze badges, you get Paint Patroller. On top of that, we get High Flying Denier, Float Game, and Dimer. Now, on top of that, we get Paint Prodigy, Deadeye. From there, bro, Limitless Range is probably the absolute most important badge on this build. Now, the second one, I would say Posterizer. Then we get Shifty Shooter and Unpluckable. So, if there's anything that you're looking at, you know, I'm really excited about which area that y'all will throw those cap breakers towards so i'm gonna save that for the very end but as far as for the badges as a whole i think these are super balanced now as far as when it comes towards these takeovers we get close to about 10 of them we get board beast you're also getting glass gunner great wall with mirror pass pickpocket the claw and also three and d spot up shooter physicality new Essence, horse glue and fortress so i gotta say man this build the ones that i like to aim for when it comes towards the actual takeovers are going to be the ones that give you either a plus eight up to 15 so the ones that really catch my eye and out of my best interest for y'all i would consider fortress you know getting that plus eight put towards the three pointer and the strength bro with blockade takeover ability not a bad option to go with now same thing can be said when it comes towards you know horse i really like to see the future takeover ability but getting the plus seven put towards both rebounding stats and the vertical i gotta say that's nice now when it comes towards this side you know we get others like a plus 12 put towards the actual rebounding itself here. And you still do get see the future takeover ability. I also like Glass Gunner getting a plus 8 put towards that 3 point shot and the rebounding. But we also do get Marksman shooting a takeover ability. Now from there bro, I gotta say out of all of these, my favorite one is going to be Great Wall takeover ability. Now the reason why is because for builds that unlock this at that 84 strength rating getting a 99 plus strength really i'm telling you bro it helps you out on that defensive end whether you're going up against guards you know or even big men and bigger defenders this takeover has definitely upgraded my defensive game and i gotta say it's low-key one of the most slept on takeovers to pick from this year and i think it's something that you should definitely try out especially if you're looking to stop big so you know even if you wanted to pick pickpocket you know getting that plus eight put towards that perimeter defense and steal or even the claw to get a plus 15 put towards the steal itself it's easily going to put you at a 99 plus so I like spoiler takeover ability, but I also do like, you know, marksman. Same thing when it comes towards the strength. It all comes down to your play style and your preference. You know, my best interest for y'all is going to be Great Wall, or you can even pick Glass Gunner or even the Claw. All of these are some nice options to pick from. Now, before we max this build out completely and move forward, we got to look at these cap breakers. So, you know, you unlock pretty much most of the minimum requirements when it comes towards animations for the playmaking. Same thing for the shooting and finishing, but I want to get the most out of my defense today. So let's say you get the first set of five cap breakers. That allows you to put it towards that steal, and we potentially can get Legend Glove and Interceptor on the same build. Now for that perimeter defense, if you put it towards this end, we can upgrade either Challenger, On Ball Menace, Pick Dodger, Immovable Enforcer. It all comes down to the way that you see this build fit. Even if you wanted to get more playmaking batches or even animations, that's definitely a viable option here as well. But I gotta say, man, all around from top to bottom, I think this is one of the best locked on defenders that you can make. And it's true to what it can do, especially on that defensive side. So I wanna know, man, is there anything that y'all would do or change to make this build a little bit better? Maybe change something up that you see that would be fit a little bit more towards your play style. You know, feel free to go about it however you decide to. Now, I just want to say thank every single one of y'all who made it to the very end. So, let's go ahead and move forward to make sure that we all made this build correctly. As you can see, we get that Sean Marion comparison, Tyree Eason, and OG Ananobi. And coming up at the 74th build that we've created together, we got the 3 and the wing. Now, this is absolutely one of the best builds that you can make right now, especially if you're looking to be an offensive threat while still carrying those heavy defensive abilities. This is going to be the build for you. Now, easily when it comes towards the animations, I'm happy about it. The badges are even better, but the takeovers are really what's going to carry this build today. So once again, man, thank every single one of y'all, the Rich Family, for, you know, showing your love and support every single day. I got another video dropping for you tomorrow just like this one. So if it was your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Smash that like button. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich Family. And last, but definitely not least. With all that being said, though, 
I got one last thing to say. Rich out.